So, guess I'm trying this place out. Hi there, everyone. Your pal Ral here with another vlog. So, I've never had Raising Cane's before just because they've never really had one where I live. And they opened one up in my state a while back, but it's actually farther than this one. And this one just opened up this past Tuesday. So, yeah, decided to uh, give it a shot. It's actually not as packed as I thought it would be considering it's a weekend, which is nice. But, um... I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm excited to try it out, and I guess I can give some thoughts on that. And since I'm already out and about, I, I do have some errands I need to run, so yeah, convenient. But really excited to try it. I mean, I I like chicken, so that's always, it's always a plus. And I'm also interested in trying out their sauce. Not sure what I'm going to get. Maybe some kind of chicken sandwich or just like, tenders slash strips or whatever, but yeah, again, I'll give my thoughts uh, in just a little bit. So I take back what I said about the place not being busy. Uh, it's actually very, very busy. The drive through is wrapping around the building, and when I got inside, as soon as I stepped through the doors, I was in line, and I was in line for quite a bit, but um, yeah, I, I got some food here. This is all in a bag. It's the uh, box combo? And there's chicken fingers in it, fries, and then sauce and bread. So, yeah. So, I guess this is everything. There's the bread, the chicken. It's got extra sauce instead of coleslaw because I think coleslaw is nasty. Let's see, fry. About what I expect from a fry. Um, chicken without the sauce. Pretty good, pretty good. And now chicken with the uh, the cane sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Sauce is pretty good. Fry with the sauce now. Oh yeah. The sauce is uh really, really good. Also the bread. It's just like plain hot bread. Um I guess it is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to finish eating this, and then, um, I don't know, do something. So I'm home now, and I recorded some Celeste. I actually only recorded episode four, because these recordings take a long time. Um, it took about three hours to record episode four, and episode three is the longest by far, where it's almost four hours, but that's because I'm doing the uh, B-sides of Celeste in the same episode, so... Those take a lot of time because they are really difficult, but it all gets edited down, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, other than that, I have been uh, cleaning up my desk a little bit because it's been really cluttered. It's not like perfectly clean and I need to like wipe, uh, wipe it down, but uh, let me show you. So this is what the desk is looking like. Still messy, but not as messy as it was before because... Um, there was a ton of stuff over here and I'm still like in the process of organizing this but I just want to have a bunch of open space here because that would be nice and then organize this a little bit as well but uh yeah and then um at some point I have to tackle all these drawers there's a ton of stuff in here and it's Definitely going to need to be, like, organized and cleaned up because it's been bothering me for a long time. And, uh, yeah. Also, I just want to talk about something that came in the mail earlier today. So, I got a new phone case in the mail. This was the uh, old one I was using. Um, I, I think it's Otterbox's Commuter series. 
And I actually really like this phone case a lot, but um, I wanted to try something new, something I've never tried before. And uh, yeah, this is a, um, a wallet style phone case. I ordered it off, I think it's called Case Bus. But um, yeah, I don't know, I've never used a case like this that opens up and uh, closed like that. But the neat thing about this, I don't know if a lot of phone cases that are this style do this, but uh, this actually comes apart and it's uh, magnetic. So if I just want to carry the phone by itself, I can do that. Also it came with like a little lens protector, which is nice because I don't want to get the lens dirty of my camera. But uh, yeah, um, I, I do need to put like some things here like uh, my license and some cards and what not to make some use out of this because I think the idea behind these cases are neat where everything is um, with you. You don't need to carry both a phone and a wallet. And the thing that inspired me to get this, I don't want to spoil Q too much, but like there is one panel in the Q manga that it's not animated yet, but like um, Hinata, uh, he has a wallet style phone case and like the context of the panel is kind of depressing, but like he's opening it up and I'm like, oh, when I, when I last saw that panel, I was like, hmm, he has a wallet style phone case. And I was like, those are neat. And like, I've just been thinking about it ever since I saw that panel. And yeah, um, still really cool. And uh, the downside to this particular case is uh, even with just like the this part of the case, it does not do the wireless charging, which not too much of a downside. I mean, it might be for some people, but for me, not really, because I don't. I do have a wireless charger, but um, I don't. I also have a regular charger for my phone, so yeah, the wireless charger is more for like my watch, and I guess I mean it's not going to be too much of a hassle to take this like this plastic case off if I want to use my wireless charger, but yeah. Now, one issue I do see myself having with this is using the camera. Actually, no, I'm not gonna have an issue with the camera because again, I could just take it out like this. I don't need to hold it like this, but yeah. Also just the way like it folds, like if I hold it horizontally, it just reminds me of a DS. And I'm like, I like the DS. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot at the very least, maybe like a week or two just to give my thoughts on it. And if I don't like it, then I still have my OtterBox phone case. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, Raising Cane's was still delicious. Um, I was talking to Matt about it earlier because he was curious about it, but next time we hang out and he's in, like he's around, I'll have to take him there. And I'm also gonna have to try the sandwich at some point because I like chicken sandwiches. But, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow I will clean up the shelves of my desk. It's, uh, it's a daunting task, but it, it's something that does need to be done at some point. So, uh, yeah. And I, I need to finish, like, the rest of, like, the top of the desk. I also need to get rid of these two water bottles that are here. I don't need two water bottles. I don't even know where I got this one. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it up here. And then, um, I guess at some point I'll just give my thoughts on this after using it some more. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching. And see you next time for another vlog. Talk about Raising Cane's if there's one in your area. Or talk about wallet-style phone cases. I don't know. <laughs> Later.